Ancient cultures from around the world spoke of giants. The Native American Indians, the Ecuadorians, even the Spanish conquistadors had records of giants that they found in the New World. Recently, we found this Romanian giant unearthed. And you can see the man sitting in the uh, two o'clock position and the giant human skeleton on his uh, on our left here. Now we know we've had tremendous amount of extinction level events. This one here is uh, one of the giants recently found in China. And then we'll come up to another one recently found in Israel in Ashkelon. A Philistine giant, uh, Philistines being, a, for, of course, one of the uh, well-known ones, gi the giants, uh, Goliath and his brothers. Goliath, who was fought uh, by, uh, who fought with David. And these Philistines were, as we know, giants from the island of Crete. Even the Trojan War heroes were giants. It took half a dozen men to carry Hector's spear. And these are some of the... Uh, Giant skeletons on exhibit in an Ecuador Museum of Giants. So, we even have records of Nephilim and giants in the book of Genesis of the Old Testament. And they were giants on earth in the, those times and even after the flood, as the uh, explanation goes. So, these ancient cultures talk about these giants. Researcher Graham Hancock coined the phrase, we're like a species with amnesia, and it's true. Now, we know we've had a lot of extinction-level events. The last super eruption was about, uh, in the, of the super volcano was North Island of the Tapo volcano of New Zealand. That was 27,500 years ago. And anthropologists claimed that there were only about 2,000 couples of uh, humans left in the world at that time. It was almost an extinction-level event. We know we had various other types of humanoids, other types of animals roaming around that are no longer existing today. So it could be, of course, that we had a lot of other uh, species dwelling on this earth. Now, despite the fact that it seems the story of human history is well uncovered, every single year there are new discoveries made challenging what we once held to be true. In some cases, there are discoveries which are concealed from general public for various reasons. A great example of that would be the black budget world. There's also seems to be amazing discoveries that are completely ignored by mainstream media. And most of these discoveries would shake the foundations of human history. Another great example are the bodies recently discovered in Nazca, Peru. Three fingered humanoid beings whose physical anatomy is far different from that of a human. I only support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. There seems to be amazing discoveries, completely ignored by mainstream media. Great examples are bodies in uh, Nazca, Peru. Another example, the stories regarding intelligent ancient civilizations like Atlantis, for example, which many scholars now believe to have actually existed. And out of all the information that's out there regarding intelligent ancient civilizations and more, even if just one of these stories are true, it would completely change what we thought we knew about human history and the history of our planet. I believe the story of our past might be different from what seems to be only two available options, creationism and evolution. There may be a myriad of other factors involved, the writer said. These discoveries would also shake the foundation of many people's belief systems. The human race has been kept from such uh, more, much more information, forced into a specific worldview designed to benefit some people. Now, this is even, uh, of course, recorded in the Old Testament, and uh, uh, there are, of course, records of giants and the Philistines. And the Philistines, very clearly saying in the Old Testament, are coming from the island of Crete. Now, giants, did giants once roam the earth? It's been in literature and lore for multiple cultures throughout human history. 
from the Maya, the ancient Greeks, the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Israel, global indigenous populations, the Bible, and more, since what we perceive as the beginning of time. For example, the Bible tells us that when God, uh, when the gods were on earth, they were giants. This, when you bring up in conversation, normally brings up, you know, laughter and people giggling, thinking you're joking. And yet the Bible is full of references to giants in our history. This is what Michael Tellinger says. Tellinger is referring to the Nephilim, as referenced in Numbers 13.33, the Bible. We saw the Nephilim there, the defendants of Anak come from Nephilim, the defended descendants. We seemed like grasshoppers in their eyes, and we looked the same to them. Again, it's not just the Bible. It's lore from cultures that predated religion as well as the indigenous. Tellinger is a renowned author and politician who's made several groundbreaking discoveries regarding lost ancient civilizations that once roamed the earth. And this is an article about him with a picture of him standing next to a giant footprint, almost the size of a full human being. And this is a footprint in a rock that is now granite. And you can imagine, before they turned into granite, it was what uh, seems to be like sediment of mud. So, um, again, it's not just the Bible, it's uh, folklore, predating religion. And Tellinger, renowned author, politician, article with a picture of a stand next to a giant footprint almost the size of a full human being, as we can see. There are several examples of physical evidence which exist to support the idea that giants once roamed the earth. For example, stores stored in the vaults of medical schools at Wits University, Johannesburg, South Africa. There's a part of an upper leg bone with a hip joint that would have stood approximately 12 feet tall. That's been there since the early 1960s and was found by miners in northern Namibia. It's one of the most precious and rare specimens available today that clearly indicate the existence of giants in southern Africa more than 40,000 years ago. And you can view the footage there. Apparently, in 1883, the Smithsonian United States government military led organization at the time sent a team of archaeologists to South Charleston Mound. And according to the official report, the team discovered a number of giant skeletons ranging from seven to nine feet tall. Let's remember at that time, people were a lot shorter than they are today. Some of them had a compressed or flat head type, which would resemble similar, similar skeletal characteristics to those found in Egypt and South America. Whether or not this is fake, it's hardly debatable, as there's a lot of evidence to suggest it's not. And the list goes on, and what's interesting is the article published in the New York Times in February 10, 1902, about the giant skeletons found uh, in Guadalupe, New Mexico, in a, in a mound. And the article describes two stones with curious inscriptions, and underneath were the bones of a body that could not have been less than 12 feet in height. According to the New York Times article, the men who opened the grave say that the forearm was four feet long and that in a well-preserved jaw, the lower teeth range from the size of a hickory nut to that of the largest walnut in size. So apparently the chest of that body has a circumference of seven feet. The bodies there were first discovered by Luciana Quintana. It was on his ranch that these specific bodies were found. Uh, according to the article, Quintana, who has uncovered Many other burial places express the opinion that perhaps thousands of skeletons of a race of giants long extinct will be found. This supposition is based on the traditions handed down from the early Spanish inv invasion that detailed knowledge of existence of a race of giants that inhabited the plains of what is now eastern New Mexico. Indian legends and carvings also in the same section indicate the existence of such a race. And going back still further, in 1774, settlers found what they call the Giant Town, which housed several gigantic skeletons, one being eight foot tall, male. In addition to a human skeleton found in New York State, there is also a famous case of the Cardiff Giant. Um, now, the story of, the human of human history. As mentioned earlier, we don't really know the full story of human history. Let's remember we had extinction level events, one of them being a super volcanic uh, eruption 27 and a half thousand years ago. So when we, uh, when new evidence of information pops up, either from past or today, which challenges the current exception framework, 
it seems like people lose their minds. What we have today in large part is a dogma instead of actual fact. With all of the discoveries being made and all the discoveries that have been made, which mainstream media ignores, we're clearly not being told something about the true origins of our humanity or even our history of humanity or our world. The idea that a powerful group of people protect the interests suppressing information from various fields is unsettling. This is by Arjun Walia, Collective Evolution, Unbended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.